Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious Father, hear us out as we ponder on your word that we may learn from your Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, we are continuing with our series of great men in the Bible, and this time we are pondering about Zechariah the priest and the father of John the Baptist. And today we are going to ponder about the similarities of the accounts between Zechariah the father to John the Baptist and Mary the mother of Jesus. Consider first the contrast between the two. Zechariah's credentials would seem to commend him as a more likely recipient of God's grace. He is a priest. He is a law keeper. He is a man. He is old like Abraham and is married to Elizabeth. Mary, on the other hand, is a girl that appears to be vulnerable in this particular instance as it is recorded in the Gospel of Luke. She is young. She holds no titles or positions in the communities. She has no husband at that particular time yet. But in this instance, we are going to see the similarities and even the differences between the two characters that are brought out well in the Gospel of Luke. Nevertheless, despite the differences, God chooses to bless both Zechariah and Mary. He miraculously gives each one of them a son who will bring about fulfillment of the ancient promises and prophecies of the old as they were recorded in the book of Isaiah and Malachi, respectively. These two are bringing out the aspect of how God uses just mere men and mere ladies, or for that matter, that particular lady by the name of Mary, and God used them for his own purposes to fulfill the scriptures themselves. The word of God says in the book of Matthew chapter 11 from verse 11, it records of how even that particular instance of using these servants brought out the beauty of God's own plan and purposes for, rebe uh, for uh, rebellating the children of Israel. We look at the second contrast. Why is Zechariah struck dumb and Mary isn't? Luke spells this out for us. So when Zechariah questions Angel Gabriel about the possibility of conceiving and having a son, the angel makes it clear that he is to be silenced because he did not believe in the words of the angel of God. In Mary's case, however, Luke reveals that it is Elizabeth, the wife to Zechariah, who brings and tells us why she's, she wasn't also muted. When Mary comes for a visit, Elizabeth greets her saying, Blessed is who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord according to Luke chapter 1 verses 45. These two differences and similarities shows us the extent at which God goes in using normal people to fulfill his own promises and his own word. Brethren, from this we can deduce that God really uses us in different vocations. He uses us within the different positions of our lives to bring out the best of what he has purposed for a particular generation. Through this, we can see that one, God blesses people according to their, according to their age, position, station, or life. He blesses them according to his own good purposes. Two, God, God's grace is free, and God has chosen to pour it out abundantly across all the spectrum of humanity. Finally, is that faith is a right and pleasing response to God's promises, and as with God's grace, it isn't reserved for the spiritual elite. Do you ever doubt God's promises over your life and feel drawn away by life challenges to the extent of disbelief? Zechariah and Mary's account are a perfect example of how to enact faith and stand by believing God's word. God ultimately brings to fruition what he intends for his people. And that shows that we should never doubt, never doubt, or let doubt overshadow God's intention and blessings of our lives. These two characters 
shows that God uses us in different ways. He does not look at the age. He does not look at the sex or the gender for that matter. But God ultimately looks at the plan that he has for his people. Zechariah's case for this instance is to show that even though he was a priest, God did not overlook his age or his particular vocation, but God blessed him and allowed his promises to be fulfilled in his life. The same with Mary. God used her. Even in her tender age, God made sure that she stood out to become the mother of our Savior. May the Lord help us to see the similarities and the differences and see how God uses us in those particular places where we feel that we have been brought down by situations in our lives because he means it for the better of our lives. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.